Welcome back everyone to another video now in this one we'll be taking a look at our development board that I had reviewed many months ago which has finally received an, an update its operating system and Linux kernel so we are like taking a look at Karas Vim that is now available with Linux kernel 4.9 and with Ubuntu Mate 16. The one major change that is brought up with this particular update is the support for SysFS based GPIO. That means that now the GPIO pins can directly be accessed from user land by the user using the simple export command and toggling the pins in the sys class gpio directory uh, and that should be pretty much but for now there are only two pins that are exposed to this functionality and let's take a look at their functioning So first of all, I'm going to run a simple script which will blink a single LED on one of the pins. So this is how the script looks and again basic export stuff. First we create a GPIO pin using uh, the echo command and then simply echo 1 or 0 uh, to its value to then toggle the pin between on and off. The next script here uses both the pins to light up, light up two LEDs alternatively and then again it is the same thing you echo the pin and uh, toggle it on and off. So again this is simply in a bash script each one of these commands can be taken out and used as a separate command on its own. So yes the GPIO two of the GPIO pins right now can be directly accessed via the bash command line interface so uh, that's about it apart from that again this is a very very stable build Karaswim never has had that unstable uh, kind of a build where things keep breaking up again I have had bad experiences with development boards like the banana by m64 where the OS is very unstable now the Karaswim has a, a very minimal staff and a very small group of people working on its development so the development is really slow i was really expecting to see some uh, fresh new gpu drivers for the karaswim which have not yet been implemented in the ubuntu build uh, but again it is on the uh, to-do list and uh, we should see them soon apart from that it is still a great board development is slightly slower than you would expect but if you want something stable and slightly powerful i think this is a great board still apart from that um, i would have also liked to see some sort of an update path where you don't need to reflash the images and lose all of your data now for whatever reason uh, to update the Karaswim you need to reflash the EMMC and that includes formatting it. So there is no simple way of simply doing apt get upgrade. The Ubuntu based packages can be updated using apt get update and apt get uh, upgrade but the kernel and other files relating specifically to the Karaswim cannot be so if you have to install a new version of operating system whether it's android or whether it's ubuntu you need to reflash the emmc 
which is sort of tedious so yes i would like to have uh, a repository specifically for the harassment being implemented so that is about it for today thank you so much for watching this video uh, i hope you enjoyed this short uh, update on the harassment i know it's been a long time since i've done any other board uh, so thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video uh, give a thumbs up uh, subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one